Hey everyone, this is Tracy from New Craft at Home. First day back from a long little break and this is what we're doing. I bought this last Christmas and things happened and I just didn't didn't get to do actually do it. So I decided it would be my first project back. So you obviously you always get the form with it. So wire out the way so it always gives you the details of what to do and it gives you pictures as well which for me is really good because I am a visual learner which is why I do the videos for the other people that prefer to see on video how to do them right so always for me lay out your pieces and make sure you know where you've got it. Read the instructions in advance. Make sure you pretty much understand what you're doing. I've got to be honest, this one is fairly straightforward. It's it's not that difficult. First thing we have to do, you get these hexagons, okay? And you have to cut out, which I've already done. Um, so the material I'm using, this is my cream colored one. And then I've got a red one like this. Uh, I did make a mistake and so for the inside I've actually used different material but it was my mistake, not that you don't get plenty. So with me always my book binding tub and I, with one this small there's not a lot of big to use, I always I've got these which are from pin. obviously you get this one with pin flare and then I've got the set of spatulas where you get a set of three different sizes. This is the smaller one of the three but it's the one I do prefer using. Obviously if you've got a big project then the bigger ones are better. This is what I like as well. Once you've finished and it's dried, it just all peels away. Ready to start again. So the first thing you've got to do, you've got one of these. You've got four of these actually, but um, I've done the others. I'm just going to show you how to do this one. Um, so it tells you to cut the fabric so it's just a little bit bigger and it fits round so you can see there it fits nicely and it says glue to the inside now if you have a look at it they bend that way so the inside is there and that is where you need to glue it to I always prefer to do glue to the card and put it on the material Gluing on material is a nightmare. Sometimes you've got no choice, but so it's literally very fine glue. You don't want to see the white, that's how thin you want the glue. Okay, so sometimes I go a bit extreme and do it too thin. Where it's drying before I've even got the material on there. So there we go. That's all the glue. And then we are just going to... So the little cuts I've got... Is the little V's in between so I know it'll all fit round I like to try and pull my material tight so that it doesn't sag in the middle and then it says trim the fabric to match the shape So what I've done there, I 
I just cut into it all the way around like this. And I kind of put a little bit of glue on each little bit so that I could wrap it round. And it doesn't say you've got to wrap it round. So I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not. For some reason I have cut that one. Missed one. So So then you're left with that and then you are coming this way and you always get you know what I've done with it there it is you always get this tape and all I've done I've cut it into four and then I'll do every other one just so that I can show you. I've lost a piece. So this is gum tape, but it's it's pretty good to be fair. So I am going to stick them all together with glue as well as the gum. Just so that I know it's going to be okay. So just a fine bit of glue down the side of that doesn't matter which side you put it on did I do that one? no and then we just want it all brought together I'm wondering if I can just snip it that way it might work okay so let's do one at a time and then the glue will hold as well it's like extra security Okay, so what you're going to end up with is four of these. I've got two because the other one I've, I've got ready earlier because you don't want to see me doing the whole thing. So you're going to end up with four like that and then you've got this nice piece of long material that you only need two of and this is where I've made my mistake because I cut out four. It says for this material Oh, where are we? Cut two pieces of cream fabric, 39 centimetres by 18. Use a pen mark and draw a line in. Now I'm going to not do that. I'm just going to, I know roughly, so I'm just going to do it like that. I don't think it matters too much if you're a little bit out. Um, and you, you, the pen line you would draw along here. So you measure one and a half centimetres, which is about that much. It's not a lot. And then um, what you're going to do is on each, and that's on both sides. So on each side, you're going to get these so that the pattern bit is facing outwards and you're going to glue each side all the way round. So I'll start off and then I'll speed it up so you don't have to be bored. So to begin with, it's, it, it's a lot easier if you do this as one together. Don't do one at a time. 
circle and face it the right way. So this bit you want facing outwards. Now the first bit I am going to do straight up to the line like that. And of course the other side you want to do the same thing. Outwards again and straight from the line. There we go. Take your time with this and make sure you're doing right. If you need the line, draw the line by all means. So now what you're going to do is do each side one at a time so make sure that everything stays straight and this follows a straight line and you're going to turn them both can you see that? you're going to turn them both together and make sure that the material is nice and tight so then you've got these ragged edges which you can see is the next bit we've got to sort out and what they say for that is if you snip at each corner so there we go we have like two tubes so that's what you should have at this point two tubes like that now the next bit is to cut four pieces of red fabric that are 35 centimeters by 19. Let's turn it the right way around. And then what you're doing with that, you've got lots of little triangles. And we first of all, we're just going to stick them. Now, the I like this particular material because I've got a line to follow. So I'm going to do it along this line here because it's the line that seems the best way to do it to me. And all you're going to do is stick them all down in a row. So you're going to glue all your bits Now my advice here is leave a little gap this side so about that much so that you've got a bit of a bigger gap, bigger gap here the other side. four times you're going to do that and then what you need to do if you just mitre the corners quickly and then you see you got a bigger end of that side than that side so what I would do is just you need a little bit of glue here to stick that down and I'm just gonna just to make sure they're both stuck down that way and then you're going to bring it round now here it doesn't say, it says glue over one end and form hexagon tube, 
glue the remaining end now it's so glue over one end there we go form the hexagon tube and then glue our end now I've done it underneath so it's hidden I don't know if that's it doesn't explain but it looks a lot tidier I'll show you the other ones I've done that are already dry just going to for this one stick a bit of glue in the middle so it stays together so I've just stuck that in together and then like I said this pattern is exceptional <laughs> because it meets so you can meet the dots up and make sure you've got it right don't worry about it not being the perfect shape to start with so you'd leave them to dry and that gives you four like that so we have four and you can see it's very neat it's a lot neater sticking it under so I'm presuming that's the right thing to do so that gives you the four hexagons they'll all go nicely into shape once you put all this together so the next bit it says you want your cream material back again to cut 38 by 33 this is where I made a mistake because the card is a bit longer um, because I cut too many strips at the beginning I didn't have enough to do 38 by 33 but I found this material which was cream very similar I got it from I think I got it from one of the Pimflay yard sales if you've never been to a yard sale you don't know what you're missing out on honestly you get everything ridiculously cheap so it says I've done that so I've got my tube glue in the four hexagon tubes into the cream baggy thingies okay the, into these so these have to be stuck in there like that um, I think it's going to be easier to glue around the bottom of this I'll show my grandson because normally he is Christmas crazy and I thought he'd be really excited about me doing this he looked at it and he said what's that I said it's a cracker he said no it's not it doesn't crack <laughs> and I was like okay it doesn't crack it's not a cracker if it doesn't crack nanny I said no but I can reuse it no that's not good enough if it doesn't crack it's not a cracker and as if by magic there we go so we've got them two parts then it says glue the cream hexagon into one of the red hexagons this in nicely okay so it sticks in like that 
I only do I only stick it in one end though because then what you're going to do because obviously then it, it will sli slide in the other end but that's where you've got to open it and then you just want the red ribbon that ties around the sides Did it come with a kit? I don't know. If it did, I don't know where mine is. I might, as usual, misplace. Uh, okay, so I haven't got any on hand right now. I've got some somewhere. So you're just going to tie the ribbon so that it does that. And then it pulls together like that. And you have nice little bows. Now there... You, I mean, I love it just like that, I've got to be honest. But this is where you can decorate. And where's my little Christmas box? So this is my Christmas box, I've got to be honest. The majority of it is from Pink Flair. You've got these little balls you can put on. So you got these, you can do them. I've got my jingle bells. Or, I don't know, hmm, red's not going to go, is it? Or I could paint them white. Actually, that would stand out. Um, puffy snowballs. All these white ones would look adorable, wouldn't they? Yeah, so, I mean, you've got so much that you can use. So these are from Pin Flair. They're pegged, but I've um, got some more somewhere as well. I've got loads of them. Because I bought them at the yard sale and they were silly money. Silly, silly money. So you could... Put some of them. If you want to take the pegs off. I've got some pegs to use after that as well. Or look at your die cuts or your, you know, whatever you've got, you can add to make this look fabulous. Well, that does a pretty good job of its own. And there you have it. A beautiful, giant Christmas cracker that's reusable. And hardy look it's very hardy so I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you again soon thanks for watching bye for now